much and nobody else here does that. Another time I'm really, really grateful that I was able to get someone who's uh, progressive and likes to learn new things and new uh, techniques. My name is Dee Lynn Norling. I'm from the United States. I came to Kenya on my dream trip of a lifetime to come and enjoy some time out in the bush at the Mara. And while I was there, I had an accident. I slipped and fell crossing a, a big muddy ditch and I broke my leg and I broke my arm. Luckily for me, I've had so many blessings along the way. Um, gratefully, the owner of the camp had a little plane and he was able to fly me back to Nairobi and bring me to the hospital. And I was once again blessed by having Dr. Adari be my physician who was able to do surgery on my arm and on my leg and I am recovering wonderfully and have had the most sweet tender care since I have been here. And I have had many surgeries and been in the hospital many times. The best care I've ever had has been here. Kind, kind people, staff at the hospital have been wonderful and kind and attentive and very careful. And Dr. Adari has taken amazing good care of me and I'm just really grateful and blessed. So, you know, I was pretty much unconscious <laughs> for surgery, and, um, but I'm recovering very well. I'm very impressed with the work. Even right after the surgery, when I was able to see the um, stitch work he did on my arm, I could tell immediately that he did a really nice job on my stitching. Even though I asked for a K for Kenya, uh, and he said I'd have to go to a tattoo artist later for that. But <laughs> We did a beautiful job on my um, stitching in my arm. I'm not going to have any problems with mobility in my wrist once everything is all healed. Really grateful for that because I am a, a manual therapist and I do massage and cranial sacral and some laser therapy and I need my hands and that's been great. Initially, um, we the x-ray didn't show that my leg was broken and so we thought it was some other soft tissue damage but after a week of it not getting better, Bless him. He said, okay, we need to do a CT scan to find out what's going on because it's not better. And sure enough, with the CT scan, discovered that um, indeed my leg was fractured. So went in for another, that surgery. Um, fun story. I went in for the surgery. All the equipment wasn't in the operating room yet. And so we're listening to music and just having a good time. And I said, pretty please, won't you just record the surgery so I can see what it but you do, and bless them, the anesthetist did that for me. And the little video recording that she gave to Dr. Adari, and then he forwarded that to me, so I shared that with all my friends, and they're all thrilled to see that too. So that's been really fun. I mean, who does that? Nobody does that. I could not have had that done in the US, just saying. So it's been really fun. What a great man. Now he's become you know, my good friend. After three and a half weeks in the hospital, having him come and take care of me, and check up on me, and another surgery, and all that, yeah. Good, good man, good, kind man, dedicated to his work, tender heart, glad to help people. Yeah, good man, and skilled at, at what he does. In fact, he gave me a PRP injection um, for the initial idea that I had uh, the soft tissue damage, and nobody else here does that. Another time I'm really, really grateful that I was able to get someone who's uh, progressive and likes to learn new things and new uh, techniques for how to take care of his patients. And so I'm very impressed with him and would recommend him to anybody. Yes. <laughs>